Today is the day of prosperity for the body of Christ. And I want to just share with you a few thoughts that the Holy Spirit has, has shared with me concerning abundance and concerning uh, the, the fields. As you see, the fields around me uh, are ready to harvest. And God is wanting us to walk in those fields. He is wanting us to walk in the prosperity that He has already given to us. It's already there. The riches are already there. The riches are in the Word of God. The riches are all around us. Just like uh, the grains are, are, are all around us of His, His love, His goodness, His, His riches, His true riches. And as we think about that uh, abundance uh, in, in Proverbs chapter 3, in verse, one, in verse 5, it says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not unto your own understanding. If we're going to walk in the prosperity of, of God, then we must trust Him. We must depend on Him. We cannot look uh, to ourselves and, says that, and say that we can uh, make our own selves rich because that is deception. We cannot do anything without the Lord. It says, In all your ways acknowledge Him, act on the knowledge that He's going to give you, and He will make your path straight. Do not be wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and shun evil. This will bring health to your body and nourishment to your bones. Honor the Lord with your wealth, with the first fruits of your crops. This is where I want to get to. Then your barns will be filled to overflowing. And in the King James it says bursting forth. And your vats will uh, just flow over uh, with new wine. With the newness of God. With the renewal of your spirit, your soul, and your body. You know, that is true prosperity right there. When your spirit is prospering. And when your soul, your will, your emotions, your feelings are prospering. And when your body is healthy and whole. That is true prosperity. You know, and as we see uh, the grain around us, the wheat in the, in the Bible uh, represents prosperity or abundance. As we go over to Matthew chapter 9, he says here that the fields, he's, Jesus went through all the towns and villages, oh I love this scripture right here, teaching in their synagogues, preaching the good news, and, and teaching the good news of the kingdom, and healing every disease and sickness. Praise the Lord, that's a whole message within itself. When he saw the crowds, he had compassion on them because they were harnessed and helpless like sheep without a shepherd. And he said, he turned to his disciples, and he's turning to you today. Uh, the harvest is truly plentiful, but the workers are few. Ask the Lord of the harvest, therefore, to send out workers into the harvest field. You know, and as I was meditating on this particular scripture, I asked for fresh manna, fresh revelation of this scripture because I know that we've heard it taught that this is salvation and we're to be going out and getting people saved and into the, into the family of God. And yes, uh, praise the Lord for that. But do you know what this scripture also means? This is what the Holy Spirit said to me today, that it's the harvest is plentiful, all around us, we're seeing the goodness of God, the plentifulness of God, the abundance of God. And Jesus said, I came to give you life and to give you life more abundantly. And he said, but there are few people that are walking in the prosperity that I have for them. And I'm going to ask you today, are you walking? Are you in the wheat field? Are you partaking of the goodness and the abundance of God today. If you're not, then ask. He says, ask the Lord of the harvest. Ask him, and he will surely bring it to you. Thank you for viewing. Receive God's abundance this day. Jesus.